Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your reading with me, Cindy and Larry. You can't see him. He's laying on the table and he's trying to give me as much of the table as possible. I'm not sure if it's enough. Uh, he's getting a good neck scratch right now and it seems to have um, made him immobilized. <laughs> he's can't. He's just like frozen, frozen. Pisces, my dear friends. This could be an interesting reading for you, I think, because I'm going to be asking this week, <clears throat> what are your dreams trying to tell you? What are your dreams trying to tell you, Pisces? We are going to get into the Divine Animal Oracle deck, and we're going to get into the Dreamscape Tarot to find out. All right. Larry. Where's this Divine Animal? Oh, it's under Larry's bum. We send you your bum. Yeah. Should I tell them the funny thing that happened to you the other night? No. That was embarrassing. You didn't like that. He fell asleep on the couch and didn't realize while he was sleeping he moved. Eventually his face was in Lily's bum. And he woke up. And they're both on the couch and he woke up. Oh. <laughs> Look at his face. And he jumped down off the couch and he ran over to his little pile of catnip. And he put his face in the catnip. I'm sorry. It was funny. It was funny, Larry. It's like me. It's almost like he woke up to a strange smell. <laughs> like, what? My face is in the dog's ass. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so Pisces. What are your dreams trying to tell you? I'm going to ask. So here's what we're going to do. This is why I need a lot of table, dip, Larry. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Um, we're going to look at what the obvious message is that your dreams are trying to tell you. And in that, I'm going to ask what uh, your dreams want you to know, the obvious message, and then any action to take, if any. And then what is the hidden, deeper message of your dreams and what you need to know and any action to take if you don't need it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay. And it's too bad, you can't really see him at all. All right, Pisces. What you the obvious need to know? Creation, snake. Oh, that's very interesting. Action to take. Ha happiness. When you're happy, you create good things. It just feels like that, doesn't it? It's kind of like a frequency thing there. All right. I want to say there's something to do with your dreams. We're talking about manifestation here. And then the frequency that you hold to help that manifestation. What's the hidden deeper meaning here? What's fascinating? Stability. Oh, check this out, though. Look at how these two cars, people traveling across the ocean, the seas. Ah, happiness is the action to take. That's obvious. And then the hidden deeper message, what you need to know is stability. Happiness is great and all that, right? But, mm, no, it's happiness. No, no, she's pregnant on this dolphin. And the action to take is honestly, it's almost like to, um, to impregnate an idea, to impregnate, like impregnate something, to... But this happens through joy. It's almost like the initial step of manifestation through the gestation period. Something gestates. Something gestating here for you in the manifestation process. And happiness is really important. You know, even if I'm thinking about that, like, you know, the, you know if you've ever been pregnant or not, or known someone who was, someone, or even read up about it, it's like really like they really talk about how important it is, like the, the mental, emotional, physical state of the mother, because the fetus is attached to her and receiving all of that. And so it's really, there's something to do with manifestation here for you. Your dreams are talking about manifestation, right? You got the creation card. That's the obvious thing to know. The action to take, the obvious action to take is, um, I want to say, it's, it's knowing that your manifestation, there's something that you haven't realized, achieved yet in this lifetime, that you are, that it's like it's getting ready to birth, right? But before that, like it has to be in this gestational period. And it's important that, 
and you find peace and happiness in this gestational period. That's the obvious message. Okay, so the hidden deeper message, which is very interesting because this woman is obviously pregnant. And then here we have a small child on the turtle. And that's about stability. So the deeper message that you need to know here <clears throat> fascinating. This is really reminding me of when I was trying to get pregnant decades ago. <laughs> that was God, it doesn't feel like that long ago. It's even like Larry though. We only had him a couple years. It feels like decades. I just can't keep track of time anymore. But anyways, I was seeing this doctor and he was um he specialized in like women's fertility or whatever. But he um he was uh Eastern he was Chinese and he was Eastern educated in Eastern medicines, but he was also Western educated and he incorporated the two. He was great. He's somewhere in downtown Toronto. I don't know where he is anymore. I don't know. But anyways, he had me on the macrobiotic diet to, um, to get my body <laughs> ready for like that whole, the whole period to, to be, become pregnant. And so, and it was, um, it was pretty good too. Cause it was, I think it was in, um, a month and a half, boom. And my son's still here today. So, but the first thing he said to me when it was clear that I was pregnant, it was a strong pregnancy. He said, you have to come off the macrobiotic diet. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, okay. He said, because this is, this is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting with your energy, with this message of your dream and manifestation is the energy that is required to create pregnancy is not the same energy required to sustain pregnancy. That's what he said. Ah, makes sense, right? I mean, and then you would, so it's like that, but it's almost like it's understanding the energy required to um, develop the manifestation. Huh? That's, that's obvious. It's like, you know, it makes me happy. I'm happy. That's what I want. <laughs> okay. But the deeper thing here that you need to know is that, right, the child comes out into stability. The child cannot r w ride the same wave that this adult woman has been riding, right, on the dolphin. Boop, 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 this is fun. <laughs> because, like, the adult knows when to hold it. Well, babies are pretty good at holding their breath. But um, any pediatrician will also tell you, too, that 90% uh, of the time, any infant that has drowned, their lungs are completely dry because they don't, they just hold their breath indefinitely. So you can't just expect, you have to ups, you have to supervise. Don't, don't be one of those people just throw the baby out there and go bye-bye. The baby will drown. Okay, so I don't know why I'm doing these public service announcements for people. Um, but right, like this turtle is the stability. It is the thing, the deeper message here is, I wanna say there's some type of stability that needs to be created so that when this is birthed, it has long-term projection. Yeah. <coughs> it's not just about happy in the moment. <laughs> but that's kind of like, well, well, the other thing I want to say too, and <laughs> some of you are like happy. <laughs> so the happiness, the action to take, it was a good time, it was a good sex session, I don't know. <laughs> she ends up pregnant. That's kind of the obvious action to take, to make a baby. But this baby is symbolizing to me some type of manifestation that you're making in your life. The deeper message here is, it's exactly that, is the energy that is required for this to go through a gestational period is not the same energy that is required for this child to get to, through the sea, to grow, to flourish. Again, makes a lot of sense, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, action to take. What's the deeper message here? The action connection. We <laughs> the tarantulas. All right, we're gonna go into the book. You have cycles of news. I'm trying to only look at one at a time. I don't know. I just felt compelled to cycles of news. They're all pretty much in the upright. We could do the whole jacket. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Crazy. So okay, the obvious message for you to know that your dream's trying to tell you is creation. Number 13. Look at I'm managing to work. I think Larry is just so happy. He likes to be here when I'm doing the tarot, but most of the time I need most of my table space. This spread is a little smaller than last week's. And he's a big boy. Okay. <clears throat> For you to know, it is time... 
Oh, no, that's the tarantula. Why did I go to that? Oh, that's so odd. Oh, I know why. Because this is 13 and this is 43. But the light... Anyways, I went to the wrong one. We need, a, we need to jump ahead a couple of tens there. Or, yeah, 40, 43. Hello? What the frick? Okay, okay, okay. Ah, it is time to shed your skin and try something new. That's the obvious message of what you need to know here. Creation is your birthright. Isn't that interesting? <gasps> You're being birthed. Oh, but you're also creating, you're creating a you new, a new you, a you new. Ah, you must understand that to remain stagnant means atrophy. So do not fear your own creation flow. If you have a physical ailment, healing will occur. You are capable of big transformation. If you haven't begun, begin. Oh, wow. Well. Pisces. It is really time to start creating and kind of be big with it. Create what? Create many things I want to say, honestly. Anything. Honestly, it's anything. You are capable of big transformation. This is almost like you're a completely different person. Completely different person. So, so that's the obvious thing here for you to know. It is your birthright. Creation is your birthright. You might be a bit of a, um, a master manifester. So the action to take is happiness. That it just it doesn't it sound like just pumping in like this really positive frequency, um, vibrational energy, intention towards what you're birthing. Oh, look at that! It's forty-two. It's just on the next page. <clears throat> happiness is not a continuous state although it is worthy it is a worthy feeling to seek know what makes you happy and do more of this happiness has everything to do with your reaction to life rather than what happens to you from outside sources if you place your happiness solely in the hands of other people then you will be disappointed that is very true that is very true. So that's the action to take. Be happy. <laughs> it's simple. I mean, it's, and it's obvious. It's pretty obvious. You know, it's kind of funny. I thought, well, Pisces is all dreamy and everything. Maybe you already know what your dreams are telling you. <laughs> like, you know when coming to this reading. But it's like, I already know what my dreams are telling you. I don't need you to tell me, Cindy. Mm. Okay. The deeper hidden message here that you need to know, all right, is stability. Operating from a stable base is advantageous. If you need help and guidance, ask for it. As you are loved and supported, delve deeply into the study of something rather than just skimming the surface. Do not push hard for what you want all the time. Instead, set an intention or direction and steadily flow towards this. Not every journey needs to be a difficult one full of drama. Wow, well, that's nice. You're not meant to have any tidal waves or up or downs, right? Like this is, it's almost like pick a destination, pick a destination and learn as much as you can about that or everything you can on your way to it and just enjoy the ride like enjoy the ride here that's what you need to know so you are transforming the, okay the other thing is it doesn't have to be even though the obvious message is like this is like a big bold transformation or change in you or your life it feels like it's something that occurs very drawn out though <clears throat> and you may have um because it's happening that way there could be instances in time where you know it's like well well that didn't work out or that doesn't seem it's okay because you're transforming and there might be things that are not meant to be 
um, they're just meant for a season for you, right? So don't attach your happiness to some of these things. There could be a lot of things kind of coming and going in your life right now. Uh, the deeper message, the action to take, is the tarantula. Oh, my God. One of the offices I worked in years ago, well, it was a pest control company. <laughs> you wonder why they had a tarantula. But, anyways, we had an entomologist on site, and he had all these things. None of them really bothered me, but I didn't like the tarantula. But one freaking day, there was a message that went out. And half the time I was on the road, because I was doing quality assurance, and I wouldn't be in the office, but I would still get the messages. The fucking tarantula got out in the night and they didn't know where it was. Oops. I am never going back to the office till you find that thing. Anyways, they did find him. <laughs> Action to take. It's time to bring together desperate aspects of your life. <laughs> Everything is connected. When you are afraid or unsure, it is important to know that you are never alone. You can do magic. We all can. Ooh. Oh my God. I haven't read any of the other stuff for anybody, but I just started reading. Like, oh, that, that's connected to this. It's connected to this. Listen to this. This is a mythos. The daughter of the great goddess Diana, Aradia, stepped upon the earth, charged with the sacred duty of reconnecting the people with their birthrights of balance and love. So can we just stop right now? Because what is your birthright? Your dreams have been tell trying to tell you about a birthright that you have here. I Like, it's a manifestation. <laughs> it's a man... You, to create. You have a God-given birthright to create in this lifetime. The action to take here. So there's a myth around this. Right? The balance. So connecting the people, Can, helping to connect other people with their birthrights. She was the environment Aradia. Oh, what? Such was the environment Aradia was born into that the old ways were being forced underground. The feminine divine disrespected in the earth's never-ending cycles of the moon and seasons ignored and forgotten. This is cool. I mean, right? Because, I mean, you're the moon in tarot. I mean, you're pretty dream state anyway. So, wow. We're going to read this. Aradia traveled the lands, walking thousands of miles in the service of her mother, delivering her teachings to more and more women and bringing hope and healing where there was little. One day, as she was waiting for the moon to rise so she could meet with other women under the cover of night for devotionals, Arcadia quietly sat in the forest. There, in front of her, she saw a huge spider, hairy and as big as her hand, weaving a great web. She watched as the shining silk wove back and around, creating a shimmer, shimmering cycle, circle. Aradia saw the spider's web grow wider and bigger and glow in the reflection of the moon. She was reminded that everything was connected from the moon to the earth. All beings, all people, the rocks, the trees, and the flowers were connected by the web of life. This was what was being forgotten and what was vital to remember. The other famous mythos worth, worth mentioning is the turning of the mortal Arachne into a spider by the goddess Athena. Arachne, a weaver of some note, challenged Athena to a weaving contest. Her hubris ended up being her downfall, and she was transformed into a spider. The name Arachne became the Latin prefix of arachni, which means spider, and is used in terms such as arachnophobia, fear of spiders. Yeah, hmm, I got that one. <laughs> oh, isn't that interesting? That is the deeper message of the action to take. <laughs> oh, this is like your manifestation is involved in the connection of all things. And it could have something to do with, somebody else has something like that, like women's, women's issues or, you know, something like that. We need tarot. Well, now you got these cards on your bum bum. Okay. 
It's a very fluffy bum, though. I will say that. It's a very fluffy bum. Can you see him? You can't. Oh, you just see this white lump over here. That's his bum. His rump. The rumpus. No, no, you're already trying to take up more space. I know. You know, I'm compensating. <laughs> Working in this little tiny area. Here, just just slide a bit. Ooh, look at that. Oh, he's a good boy. Okay. Yeah, it's a good boy, Larry. Oh, no, no, he's mad. No, that won't do. <sighs> the Queen of Cups, what you need to know. Love changes everything. <laughs> Love changes everything. Love is creation. Oh, God, look. The dolphins. The dolphins in the background. I love it. <laughs> Larry's like, where? Where are the dolphins? See the dolphins? Yeah. <laughs> dolphins in the background. And then that takes you to the happiness. <gasps> your love will change the world, Pisces. That's what your dreams are telling you. Your love will change the world. Love will change you. Love will change you. Action to take is happiness. But this is not about other people <laughs> or other things. It's happy. Because if your happiness is connected to outside sources, you'll never be happy. The Queen of Swords. Mm. Well, that's interesting. The action to take is to look at things point blank. See things for what they truly are. And even if you don't like what you see, that's no reason to be unhappy. <laughs> There's, we have to remember that card also to talk up well. Yeah, it did. Like, <clears throat> it's not something that you can be all the time, like happy and ecstatic. You're meant to have all of the emotions. And the Queen of Cups can be that as well. All of the emotions. You're meant to be all of the emotions. All of your emotions here are paramount in what you create. You are very much a master manifester. I bet you all are manifesting when you're sleeping. Your dreams, for sure. The hidden deeper message to know is stability. The three of coins, very stable. Building well with others. No, oh, you're manifesting. Because if I look at this, it looks like like he sp he's spinning something, almost like that spinning a web. He's spinning something, and it's like it's something that's starting to materialize into the 3D. Oh, your manifestation is materializing for you into the 3D. This takes time. <laughs> this is, it takes time. Just so you know, you know, it, it, the universe is working on shit. Physical matter. Well, okay, I'm downloading. Physical matter requires great effort. Great effort. Oh, I don't know. I'm kind of... It's almost like the spirit realm struggles in the physical matter, but it can be done and we do do it. That's exactly what's happening here. Connection. All things are connected. Totally butterfly effect coming through here with you as well. Like if you... <clears throat> if you give of yourself an watery, emotional, psychic, intuitive you... This has an effect. You may not see the immediate effect that you have on the things that you're creating, or you might not even see these things being created. I, where I want to, what I want to say though, is that there's something that you are literally manifesting, and the universe is trying to bring it to you in its most stable form. And then connection. Empress, wow, action to take. Oh, she's holding the baby. She's holding the baby. 
Right? Starting off as a baby. The baby's in her tummy. The baby is in her tummy. It's to birth. Oh, this is curious. This is almost coming across like it's telling you that something is now, it's almost like, yeah, the runway is good. The runway is paved. It sat there for a while. So it's, you know, it's good and hard. The plane can land on the runway. Yeah, because it's right like receiving the infant, receiving the manifestation. Here it comes. It's stable. It's coming and it's nice and stable and receiving. There she is holding the baby. Okay, for some of you, let's go a little bit deeper here. Um, actually, it's funny I say that, but it's more surface level just looking at the artwork. There's a very obvious message here about the birth of a child. Very obvious message about the birth of a child. That's what your dreams are telling you. There's a child going to be born. You're gonna have some sort of influence in this child's life. It's almost like this child would be handed to you. Okay, there's a message here for someone that's very specific where there's a woman who's going to be having a child and this woman would not make a good mother and she knows that and she will be giving the child up and the child will be coming to you. It's very specific, <laughs> I'm telling you. So it's not gonna be everybody. Some of you, this could be your own uh, daughter having a child and you could be the grandparent but you becoming more the parent to this child. Uh, others of you, this could actually be through some sort of legal adoption process. Um, could be surrogate motherhood. Yeah. This child coming to you. Your love will transform this child. That's beautiful. And it is, it's like, right, like a child, <laughs> a child born to sea and in the sea is not a natural habitat for a human being. But right, it is coming to shore into the arms of the Empress. So it does feel, <clears throat> and it's all connected. Isn't that interesting? It's kind of interesting the way that comes around. There's something, um, something about this child that connects you to some, I'm not sure what. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Lost, like how many of them end up all having these uh, connections to one another that they didn't even realize. And even Jack being Claire's half-brother and then um, her child actually being his nephew. <laughs> it's just weird, right? Like all this, everything is connected and then here's the child. Two of coins, the queen of coins. Why the queen of wands? <gasps> pre oh, pre empress, pre empress energy. All the queens are here. All four queens. Now three of them are in the obvious message to know. The action to take is the queen of swords. Could be cutting some shit out, man. Cutting some shit out. Could be cutting some shit out. It's um, taking a good, hard, crisp look at things. That's for sure. Wow. What you need to know, you are in pre-empress energy. Actually, no, you're empress. You're the empress. That's what you need to know. You're the empress. And then it start acting like one. <laughs> it's like, start acting like one. You've, you have mastered all four queens here. The queen of cups, the queen of pentacles, the queen of wands. And the action to take is the queen of swords. Right? Which leads to the next action, which is the empress. That is like, almost like accepting your crown. Accepting your crown. Because there was only one more thing you needed to do to become the Empress, and it was the Queen of Swords. <coughs> 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 
some of the some of you it's because she has an archetype to her right the same way that the queen of pentacles has an archetype as the wife the mother um businesswoman queen of cups also the mother uh emotional mother as opposed to practical mother and then the queen of wands is like i look good today everybody look at what i'm making I have confidence in me. I'm great. Right? Yeah, you gotta own all that shit. And the Queen of Swords, she could be the divorcee or the widower as well. And that is where you have the pregnancy, the birth. You birthed yourself. You birthed yourself, Pisces. This is like your dreams are telling you to wear the gosh darn crown. The Four of Swords. Ooh, the High Priestess. Wow, there you go. That is like true, oh wow, true divine feminine here with the Empress and the Knight of Cups. Okay, um, what you need to know, the most the deeper message, the four of coins, look at the stability here. The three of coins, the four of coins, the page of coins, the hanged man. It's some, some sort of journey of a child here. To maintain the stability of that. Action to take. The Empress. All things are. Wow. Wow. Get your gosh darn crown on and wear it. <laughs> Rise up. Judgment. The Eight of Coins. Six of Wands. You're the winner. You are the winner winner. Chicken dinner. That's what your dreams are trying to tell you, Pisces. You are the you are Empress. <laughs> You're like Empress. You should wear that crown and rise up. Oh, you know what song's coming in? It came in like a month or so ago. Hold your head up, woman. Hold your head up, woman. Hold your head up, woman. Hold your head high. Anyway, it's, it's a good song. I'm not advising it, though. Um, <clears throat> that's an interesting. There's something here, too, about, I don't know, um, healing, healing the children, healing a child. Could be your inner child, but I feel like for some of you, there's some kid coming to you. <laughs> kid. kid coming to you. Uh, the Nine of Wands. Ugh, oh, Lord. It's been a long path. It's been a long journey. Looks, yeah. Well, you, you just birthed yourself into a new reality. That's cool. And you should put your little crown on and wear it appropriately. Yeah. You. You may even do something with your work. Something to do with your work, too. Maybe your work is, ha is having like a new breath of life into it. And you are victorious. And that's what I got. I'm going to go do the extended. If Larry will give me any table. He's really asleep. Oh my God, his nose is so cute. It's pink and he got a little... <laughs> cute. Um, we're going to ask, how does your ego block you from receiving these messages? You know, when your dream state's coming in. Your dream messages are coming in. But how does your higher self allow you and help you to receive these messages? Thank you so much, Pisces. Until next time, be gentle with yourself. Bye.